According to a Vision Mobile study, 79% of app developers don't have an analytics platform in their app at all. Today, let's look at four Google Analytics reports that every app developer should pay attention to. Welcome to another episode of Appetizers, bite-sized insights for app developers. I'm Max from Google AppMob. In the past episodes, we've talked about how important nailing user engagement is to growing your app. But there are a million tactics you could try to drive user engagement. How do you decide which ones to test first and to invest in? Data. A crucial place to look for data is within Google Analytics. Let's look at four Google Analytics reports that every app developer should pay attention to, especially if you're focused on user engagement. Report number one, the behavior flow report. Users might have stopped using your app because of design flaws. The behavior flow report can help you identify sticking points and take targeted action. Specifically, the report measures various screens or events that users visit within your app and provides you with a percentage of people who go on to other screens or drop off altogether. This will reveal what screen users are seeing, which ones are most popular, how long users stay on each screen, and how they navigate from one screen to the next. This information can help you in a number of ways. For example, if you had a game app that used a different screen for each level, you could track what percentage of people complete each level. If there's a level that has a massive user drop-off, that may indicate that it's too hard. Further, you may find that the exit rate on the game over screen is particularly high. This could mean that the image or the text isn't incentivizing users to play the game again. Report number two, crash and exceptions report. In this report, data can be broken out by app version, operating system, and device brand, so that you can evaluate your app's technical performance in different environments. Report number three, the loyalty report. The loyalty report shows you the number of sessions for the nth occurrence within your app. You'll see the number of first interactions, then the number of second interactions, third interactions, and so on. This report can help you determine at what point your users drop off. For example, your loyalty report may show that users with fewer than three sessions have lower conversion rates. With this information, you could go through your app yourself to see if there's anything within the user experience that hinders engagement past three sessions. And for the final one, report number four, the recency report. The recency report within Google Analytics shows how much time has passed between app sessions. This provides a great way to know how many users and which types of users engage in your app once a month, once a week, or even once a day. And that's it for today. In the next video, we're gonna dive more deeply into the second data collection strategy that we mentioned in video three, dog fooding. If you found this information useful and wanna learn even more, be sure to download our new ebook, The No-Nonsense Guide to Growing Your App. Also, leave any questions and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks a lot, see you next time.